The poppy appeal is really a, a build up to the Armistice Day. We always go to St Peter's down at Cradley with the parade which is very well supported throughout the Cradley people, the Scouts, everybody I can mention. And then also I attend the service at the Ragged School on the Sunday evening, which is a remembrance service. Uncle Jack was in the forces and we, after Sunday school on a Sunday morning, we used to go a walk down to Ono. And you know where um, you get down in the dip and then in the dip and then it started to rise. Well, the broad stone was there on the left hand side. And we used to stand on there and we used to wish and pray that Uncle Jack came back from the war. We always called it our wishing stone. I have supported Remembrance Day, which I think is a very good thing. People ought to really make sure that they know exactly what it is all about. There's lots of people that come to the chapel to Remembrance Sunday because they have got people, relatives, husbands, cousins, uncles, granddads that were in the wars and they come just to rem simply to remember them. In the war I lost my cousin. Um, his dad name was Bill and he was called Little Billy. My father wasn't a, uh, in, the, in the forces but uh, two, his two brothers, uh, that's two out of four, they were, they went. Also, I lost my granddad in the First World War. He was one of the first people to be called up or to enlist at that time or to volunteer, I think the word would be. I never met my granddad. I never met him. I only know all the memories from him, what other people have told me. I can remember a few words that my granddad wrote and it said, tell my little angels I love them. His little angels obviously were his children. I'm here tonight at Two Gates to lead their service of remembrance. We have different people to take the service. Tonight it was um, Kathleen Davis. Remembrance for me is a very special day, probably because my grandfather was killed in the Second World War and I never got to know my grandfather. So I think that's why Remembrance is special for me. I thought she, was, she would be good to take the service because uh, her father and two uncles were part of the uh, Second World War, uh, all three were sailors. Remembrance to me evolves around the poppy appeal, which I'm very passionate about, to raise the money for the people who suffered and gave up their lives, in particular in the forces. It's also special to give thanks for the people who did what they did for the rest of us. It isn't all about the forces, it isn't all about the people who are serving in the forces, it's about their relations, their mothers, their dads, the parents and all the rest of it. And to remember those who carry on doing what they do. I was called up, my time spent in the uh, service was in 1959 to 1961, two years. When you were 18, you were conscripted into the army. It was a compulsory. But if you were an apprentice, you were allowed to go in at 21. Uh, I'd went through the full training of any soldier that was uh, uh, in, do, in trained uh, for national service. I was called up at the age of 21. Fortunately, I never fired uh, a rifle or uh, a weapon in anger, uh, which I was very grateful for. After the training was finished, I was then deployed to 2MT Squadron, RAF, which I spent the rest of my national service with till I was demobbed. They shall grow not old, but as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.
turn out this year. How often in our busy day do we find time to stop and say a word of thanks, a thought of debt to those who suffered and are suffering yet? Do we appreciate the privilege of living without fear to express freely thoughts and opinions that we all hold dear? Do we wonder how it might have been without the courage and heartache unseen of those gallant people who fought for us? They might not have liked it, but made no fuss. It was a job that had to be done, still it did not come easy to everyone. They fought our battles, won our wars, never a fight without a cause. We do not say that war is right, but that freedom must be protected with all our might. We cannot always choose the way, there is always a price to pay. We should remember the people who for us fought, the price of freedom of children taught, not to let greed cloud their vision to care, of those who would steal freedom always be way. There will always be someone who would take freedom away, the price to regain it is hard to pay. We should remember the wars that have gone, also the battles for freedom which still go on. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Personally, I think about all the people, my own relations and everybody else during that particular time, especially during the two minute silence which takes place. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. I'm still a member now of the Cradley Royal British Legion branch. We go down to the schools and we present them with their trophies for the school that have done the most towards the poppy appeal. They're living with that pain and that remembrance, but their children too are getting um, a closer link with what remembrance is all about because they see how their mothers and their fathers were affected by war. Colly Lane School in particular, the children ask us different questions. They come round the table and ask us questions. The war years which we can remember Involvement with Armistice Day is a full day and also on that particular day it's my birthday, the 11th of November. Particularly I remember one chap who was a few years older than me who used to come back on leave from the Navy and I, c I can visualise him now walking down the road with a sailor's gait. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and would walk with with a, the sway and motion of a sailor on board ship. <laughs> <laughs> 